Good morning Internet, Adam Bate here from B2Net Solutions. This morning we're going to do a quick demo video on setting up 301 redirects using cPanel. Now we've done a demonstration on redirecting and 301 redirects using Plusk before. Uh, this morning we're going to go into um, setting up the redirects in cPanel. With cPanel it's a little bit easier to sort of understand and visualize uh, because the uh, sort of the management tool for redirects is a little bit uh, user friendly. Um, or a little bit more user friendly than than it is in Plusk. So first thing you're going to want to do is just log into your cPanel account. And once you're in there, you're going to have to scroll down near the bottom to redirects underneath the domains. So we'll see the www redirects here. Um, and this brings us to the redirect management tool. And you can see first thing you're going to want to see is type. You'll see permanent 301 or temporary 302. Um, now. This, for this video, we're going to choose 301, a permanent redirect. Um, 301 redirects basically pass all uh, benefit of links and age through to um, a new domain. So if you're rebranding um, to you know olddomain.com to newdomain.com, you're going to want to forward olddomain.com with a 301 redirect. Now, if you're developing sort of a, a new website, um, and in the meantime, you're, you want to forward traffic to a different domain or a different URL, you'll want to use a temporary 302 redirect. Um, but we'll go into more detail on that in another demonstration video. So in this case, we're just going to forward, say, um, the 301 redirect. We're going to do select your domain from the list here. Uh, you can forward all of your domains at once by, by choosing the all public domains option. In this case, we're going to choose the coffeebean.ca. Um, we're going to leave nothing beyond the slash. Um, we're going to redirect this to, and we'll do the coffee bean ca slash home. Um, so redirects to, you're going to enter the URL in there that you want it to redirect to. Um, now down here, you can choose whether or not you want the www dot to redirect. Um, or if you just want the root domain, or if you want both. Um, now, in this case, we're going to leave it redirect with or without www. Um, if you want only to redirect the www, you can choose this. If you want to not redirect the www, choose the option on the far right. In our case, we're going to do both, um, and then click Add. And it'll confirm your redirect. Click Go Back. And you'll be able to see the redirect down here. So the domain, the coffeebean.ca with a www match um, directory, so just the default root directory, is then going to redirect to the URL, the coffeebean.ca slash home. So in this case, if you had sort of a, an intro page or a splash page, or if you developed because of a, a content management system or some other um, you know, CMS type program, you know, you had to have a directory structure with slash home or, um, you know, slash root or what have you. If you needed to develop within a specific directory in your root directory, um, this will be one way to set up that redirect. So once someone lands on the coffeebean.ca or yourdomain.com, it automatically forwards to your sort of home directory uh, within your website. So that's all there is to it. Um, if you remember the plus video of the 301 redirect, it was a little bit less intuitive. Um, this sort of spells out whether or not it's a permanent or a temporary redirect. Um, very easy to, to manage and visualize all of the redirects you have going on for, for each of your domains. Um, and I hope you, uh, you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, as always, um, send us a tweet on Twitter or open a support ticket with us. And hope you have a great day.